All right, let's face it, trading is not easy. Taking emotions out of the equation when you're hard earned money on the line is not easy. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to use some basic math to make more logical decisions in your trading and to just overall become more profitable. And I said simple math, I really meant it. We're gonna be tracking two variables. That's gonna be risk reward and the win rate. All right, so now we know that win rate and risk reward are the two factors that determine profitability. Let's look at how to track them. All right, so here's how we're gonna track the data. And yes, it's as simple as an Excel sheet. Like I said, you wanna keep things simple here. And if you wanna download the sheet, link will be in the description. But let's say we traded today and our average winner was 50 bucks, average loss was 30. We took four trades, had two winners and two losers. So once you put this data in, you're gonna have a couple values over here. What I really want you to focus on here is the win rate, the reward to risk, and the expected value per trade. So the expected value per trade is a composite of the win rate and the reward to risk. And so long that this is a positive number, that is a positive system that extrapolated on a large time frame will make money. So now you're looking at these numbers and maybe you're thinking, well, what do I do with this data? Well, number one, I wanna tell you guys that you should start filling out this data or go back if you can get historical data from your broker and take like two, three months of data and put it in here because obviously like one day or one week of data, data is not gonna be great. Small sample size is gonna give you skewed results. Um, so that's number one. But once you have all that data in there, you just wanna start to take a look, you know, is my system profitable? and how profitable is it? So in this system, we have a 50% win rate, which think a lot of people might think 50% win rate, that's horrible, you only win half the time. But when you look at the reward to risk, you see that this is a profitable system. And so that's where taking some of the emotion out helps because you know that mathematically you have a profitable system and you have data to support it. So that's where it takes a lot of the emotion out because let's say you take a loss, you're not going to get all emotional because you know that's part of the system and you know that the system is still profitable. All right, so now that I showed you guys the Excel sheet, I'm going to show you guys a sample of a system that you could develop based on those ratios and those numbers. So here on NinjaTrader, they actually have a feature called uh, ATM strategies. And now basically there's a bracket orders where it will automatically set a stop and a take profit for you. And I'll show you that right here. All right, so like we said, here you can set the parameters. So right here we have a stop loss at 14 ticks and a take profit at 25 ticks. So the first thing you'll realize here is that a reward to risk is above one. So for the, it comes out to about 1.43 here. So for every one dollar risk, we make a dollar 43. So here's what this looks like. If we were to Order buy filled. the market right there and go along, you can see down here we have an automatic stop. Up here we have an automatic take profit, and so. If you're someone who really gets emotional, enter these trades and just walk away. That it's You could really do that if you're really that emotional about it. And I'm gonna show you based on the math and based on the data, what win rate you would have to have based on this system to be profitable. All right, so here we are back in the Excel sheet and we're gonna take that example of a 14 stop loss to a 25 take profit. And I'm gonna show you guys what kind of numbers you would have to hit to make that system profitable. So. Let's plug some of those values in. Now that was ES, so on five points, that would be a winner of 250. And now again, we're assuming that you never deviate from those values. So you either hit the stop loss or you hit the take profit. Now, how you wanna deal with deviating from that is up to you, but if you're really emotional, maybe you just wanna hit the button and walk away. I know a lot of people might be like, oh my God, that's so bad, you can't do that. But if you're that emotional, that takes a lot of the decision-making out of it and it keeps a lot of the analytics in, in play. And I'll show you what that means. So here, your average loss would be 175, again, based on what we showed you on NinjaTrader. I'm not gonna worry about the number of winners or losers yet. So again, average wins 250, average loss is 175. Your reward to risk is 1.43. Again, meaning that for every $1 we lose, we'll make $1.43. Now, we didn't put a win rate in, so we don't have an expected value yet but focus on this break even at given reward to risk is 41%. So that means if you run this system and you win 41% of the times, you won't lose money. You won't make money. Um, so let's see, you know, if you, so let's say you win 50% of the time. So let's say, uh, again, same example, four trades, two winners, two losers. Boom, right there. You have a profitable system. And 
It's that simple, really. And you might be thinking again, wow, 50%, that's not great. It's really being able to replicate these results time and time again. And again, once you start to be able to take some emotions out of your trading and understand that you have a system that makes sense and it's based in evidence, then you can really start to expand on the strategy even more and start to take deviations once you're more confident. But like I said, if you want to go on Ninja Trader here and just set the orders and walk away, that takes a ton of the emotion out of the trading. And if you can do that and you can win 50% of your trades, you're going to make money. It's that simple. It's really that simple. Um, and I think for a lot of you guys watching, you can do that. I think if you can take the emotions out of the trade, technical analysis isn't rocket science. Sure, it's not the easiest thing in the world. But if you can take a lot of that decision making and the emotion out of the trades and just stick to the math and what makes sense, that's how you're going to develop a profitable system. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be glad to make another video if there's anything else to be explained. I know we kind of covered a lot of different things rather quickly, but I just want to kind of give you guys the idea of what this looks like so you hopefully you guys can go and develop your own strategy. But with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Again, if you want to download the Excel sheet, it will be in the description.